Question, is there a GCF? Taylor? What's the GCF? Uh, if you look at the 2 and the 3, they do not have a 3 in common. Okay, so there's always going to be a, a GCF of 1, or just a factor 1, but it's not the greatest common factor. So there is no greatest common factor in this problem. What's the next thing you're going to do, Taylor? Our last term. Taylor, what are the factors of 3? 1 and 3. Thank you. Hey, Zeus. What's next? What are those? Correct. So with these numbers, it's like a big division sign, okay? These are plus and minuses. Class, if we do division, what are my combination of numbers? 1 divided by 1 is? 3 divided by 1 is? Um, 1 divided by 2? And 3 divided by 2? And then we, we also have the negatives of all these numbers. So negative 1, negative 3, negative 1 half, negative 3 halves. Uh, Pamela, pick one of these for us to test. Not here. But no, pick one for us to test. But no, do you think you want to pick a fraction? All right, pick something else. Three. With your partner, go ahead and test three. Three, two, negative three, negative two, three. Thank you. Erica, help us fill out our synthetic division. Class, is this a factor? No. Thank you, Erica. Mary Grace, you want to pick another number? One? Let's test one. Mary Grace, tell me what numbers are right there. I'm just going to do these really quick for you. Class, is this a factor? Yes. Partner A, tell partner B, what do I write here? Cole, what do I write here? X minus 1. Remember, if you get stuck, you said it's x equals, and you need to make it equal to 0. So you would subtract 1 from both sides. Crystal, what am I going to write here now? Saul, are we done? What should I do next?
We're going to do our x in our box. Solve a times c. B value. Negative 1. Class, what are my two numbers? You have to use the box now, so that's negative 3x, 2x, this comes 2x squared, minus 3. Class, what's your greatest common factor? How about here? Here? And this one? Positive 1. You can tell by multiplying that because you have negative 3. So here on the sides, I have 2x minus 3 and x plus 1. Now, in this problem, raise your hand if you saw that you could have factored by grouping. Um, I wanted you to ex especially show me my rational roots theorem. 